Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So let's get right into your reading, Sagittarius. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of October 2020. How are you doing? I see you doing great, Sag. <laughs> We're starting off the month with the Ace of Cups, a lot of wish fulfillment, a lot of happiness, a lot of self-love being stronger or being amplified for this month of October. Now you have the Seven of Wands here. There was a situation where you stood your ground, where you stuck out for yourself. Again, speaking about self-love and knowing your worth, Sag, very good positive energy. I see you guys very grounded. I see you guys very empowered. I think that this month of October, it's going to be very empowering for you guys. A lot, a lot of major transformations that are happening. Opportunities coming in where you feel like it must be a lucky month. No, it's not, Sag. It is good karma that's coming to you. We're ending cycles and renewing the energy. We're starting off strong and very, very close to spirit. For some of you guys, if you guys are currently going through a situation where you felt like you've been tested, where you feel like you've really gone through it, the High Priestess speaks about people being in your surroundings, and this is people that has already passed on. So this could be your spirit guides, but they're speaking directly about uh, family members or family in the astral realm that is currently guiding you that are trying to open new pathways for you. You're being very intuitive, Sagittarius. Pay attention to your dreams as well. I feel that a lot of spirit guides are coming through uh, with you guys on the, you know, on the subconscious level, connecting with your dreams. Um, as an example, if you, you know, have a random dream where someone's telling you to take an opportunity or to do something that you wouldn't naturally or normally do, Pay attention to how you're feeling in that dream because that's basically what they're trying to guide you to making the best decisions for yourself. Now we do have the five of wands, a lot of doubt, a lot of doubt in regards to your future, doubts in regards to if you're capable, if you're willing, if you're able uh, to get yourself out of a situation where you felt like you've been stuck for quite a while. But again, I feel a lot of loving energy towards you. This could be family. This could be relatives. This could be, uh, you know, even neighbors, people that are very receptive to your energy and they see you or they feel your struggle and they're trying to guide you. They're trying to be very supportive there. Um, and not only that, but what Spirit is saying here is, sorry, you guys, what Spirit is saying here is, um, be cautious about the people that give you advice. So what I mean by that is, as an example, if someone's trying to give you some type of advice or some type of guidance and you just feel their energy off, let it go in through one ear and out the other. Don't take it to heart, especially if they make comments that could potentially hurt your feelings. I feel that they're coming from a very judgy, a very judgy type of... Um, energy and it's not to the best of your interest but I feel that it's not very malice I think that that's just the personality of that person or that individual now what they're also showing me here is again being very connected to your emotions Sagittarius I think that you guys are going to be extremely intuitive or being uh, even prophetic dreams are going to be something that is very very strong for you guys for this month of October I think the ultimate goal here for this month for you Sagittarians out there is self-love, is self-care. It's taking care of yourself and making yourself a priority. It's taking what people give you or what people say about you or the advices that they give you and only taking to heart those that are the best of your interest. But ultimately what they're saying here is there's a lot of growth and expansion that's coming towards you. And again, a lot of positive energy around you. I think that for some of you guys, this could be a transformative type of energy where they're speaking about this is going to transform your life for the coming year, year and a half. 
Um, I think that you guys have gone through your struggles. And I think that through those struggles, it's made you a wiser person. It's made you a stronger person. But more than anything, I think that there were certain type of behaviors in you that you needed to change about yourself. Now, this could be the victim mentality where life often tests you and makes it really difficult. But the more we go on about saying, why me, why me, the more it happens. So it's almost like you guys are growing or maturing to the point of understanding, you know what, the more I keep saying, why me, the more the universe tests me. So it's time for me to start embracing the good in my life. It's time for me to embrace the people that are positive in my life, the people that really want what's best for me. And the more blessed you are, the more energy that you put towards counting your blessings, the more the universe is responding or echoing back. The more the universe is bringing to you people or individuals or partnerships that are most ideal for you, Sagittarius. A partner that is going to be not only loving, but that is going to be extremely giving. Giving in the sense of knowing that you have that emotional support. For some of you guys, maybe even those of you guys that have been single for quite a while or you went through a divorce, perhaps you promised never to put yourself through that situation again or never to marry. And that's quickly going to be changing. Because I see a lot of echoing of love coming back to you. I see you guys have struggled. I see you guys have gone through difficulties. You definitely have a mother figure around you. This could be a mother figure. This could be your mother if she's passed on. This could be an aunt if she passed on. This could be a grandmother. It's definitely a mother figure that is very much looking out for you. As you can see here, the Queen of Cups next to the High Priestess. In a very loving way, still trying to guide you. Pay attention to those messages, to those signs that are being given to you, Sagittarius. I wish you guys the very best. I hope that this gives you some type of clarity and insight. I wish you... Nothing but love and happiness, and we'll see each other soon. Happy Hallow's Eve!